was on about people um, active listening anyway, because I was to be a trainer and I used to try and get people to actively listen. And so I do listen. But that was just extraordinary. That's fantastic. I, I really liked the, the the advice to put on the uh, eye mask. I think it really, really helped, especially because this evening is such a lovely evening, such a lovely spot. I think it was great to lose yourself in the sound. It was amazing, actually. I didn't expect it to be quite as evocative as it was. Uh, some of these sounds, the, the trains in particular are evocative, especially the passing sounds. But it just is something, it's, there's something a little bit more str strong about it. It's something I'm not sure how to put it into words, but it, it was a very special experience. It brought history to life. Um, and having done the Clearwell Caves experience, you kind of, well, at one point, just a, a very brief piece, but. Um, felt a little bit like you were there with the miners. I could quite easily have cried during several periods of this, which I think even if you'd have seen it as a television programme, a vision, I don't think you'd have had it in the same way, because you're building those pictures yourself, the voices and the children. And I quite like the, the counterpoint of the children buying the ice cream after having the, the, the quite um, industrial kind. The, the ending was very, very emotional, I was nearly in tears. Um, what surprised me was how visual the whole thing was. I could s see everything as it was happening. And I hadn't expected that. So it's always going to be one person's kind of version of a place, but I think it was a very good version. And I think it was amazing how Ivor captured um, the sense of history and lots of different events, but also the contemporary nature. At no point did it feel kind of mawkishly looking towards the past. It was, it was the, like Dennis Potter says, the past is walking alongside you, you know, and, and I really got a sense of that, that it was the past and present mixed. So I found the performance really exciting and educational. I learned a lot tonight that I didn't know, especially about the bridge falling down on the Severn. What really struck me was the, the history of the, I suppose the, what was termed the Lydney Bridge disaster, but that, that's a, that brought that to life. I, I know I felt a little bit like you were, that you were there. We missed the entrance to the docks. And they poured it down as if it had never been.